In lesson 27, we're going to look at a built-in JavaScript method called HasOwnProperty. This allows you to determine if an object has a property of a given name. Let's take a look at an example of that. So here I have my vehicle, just like in the last example. I've got a year, make, and model. And I can say vehicle.HasOwnProperty and put the property name in there to say, do you have a property called year? And it will return true. Do you have a property called price? And he'll say, no, I don't. Why is this useful? Because you may get back an object and need to validate that certain things exist. Or you, if, it, if, if you're doing, say, an integration, and they only give you back a few select fields in a record, and it's up to you to update the record, you want to know which ones you've got and which ones you don't. Maybe it's against a known list. If I've got 13 fields and the integration only sent me three, I better check which three those are so that I can update the correct fields, that sort of thing. So it's nice to know, just as a true-false, do you have this? I'm going to run this just to show it's a short little lesson all about that. And of course, I say, yes, I do have a make, but I don't have a price. And that's what you'd expect. So that's how has own property works. Short one for this one. Join me for the next one in episode 28, when I can show you how to get each key or each property in that object. So stick with me. I'll see you in just a sec.